Last week on CBS This Morning, Gail King sat down with 21-year-old Azriel Clay along with 23-year-old Joycelyn Savage during a tense interview where both women claimed to be in a relationship with R. Kelly. Azriel and Joycelyn, who are currently living with the 52-year-old embattled R&B singer, told King their parents exploited them for money or a musical career. Claims the Savage family adamantly denied during their sit-down with the CBS anchor. And on Wednesday, during King's continued coverage of the Kelly saga, Angelo and Alice Clary got their turn to respond. Azriel's parents told King their daughter is trapped in what they called a monstrous situation. I feel like I failed my daughter because I should have saw different signs. I should have saw, saw the change in my baby girl. Kelly was charged in Illinois with 10 counts of aggravated criminal sexual abuse and pleaded not guilty. Three of the four alleged victims were minors at the time of the suspected crimes. It's been reported in the media that further investigations in both Illinois and New York are underway, with Kelly also being accused of holding women in a so-called sex cult and against their will. How do you think this story is going to end with your daughter? How I want to see it end, I want to see my daughter leave. I've heard, like, a suicide pact. You know, I know my a daughter... A suicide pact? Yes, I've heard all kinds of stuff. Alice also told King she heard her daughter tried to leave twice and was brought back both times. And though she said Kelly has a complicit network surrounding him, their daughter also had to prove her loyalty to him by any means necessary. She was lying and duping us and pulling the wool over our eyes from the beginning. Angelo and Alice appeared in Lifetime's Surviving R. Kelly docu-series, in which they shared the details of how Azriel came to live with Kelly. Azriel, who attempted suicide shortly before meeting Kelly in 2015, was just 17 when she went on tour with him. I didn't trust him. I trust my daughter was, will be honest with us. And this was strictly her music. King said after she spoke with the Clarys, the Chicago police investigated Kelly's residence for a welfare check and determined everyone was fine. She also said there are plans in motion to temporarily reunite both families with their daughters. To watch clips from the full interview, head to THR.com. Until next time, for The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Jordan Rowling.